through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 260. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to give you our DVD rundown for the 4th of June. Yeah. We're already in June, halfway and, there. I know, crazy. Living huh? on a prayer. <laughs> um, kind of an interesting week. There's no like. Bon I'm put. I'm no bunch of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wony. Um, this is kind of an interesting week. It's like half quality, mm -hmm. half crappily. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a mixed bag, yeah. if you will. It's kind but of like, hey, summer's here. Let's clear out the backlog. We're getting we're getting a lot of those early 2013 releases. Yeah. So just getting shoved out there. Unfortunately, a lot of them aren't so good. But let's uh, let's get started with the yeah. big release of the week, and Ooh. that is a good day to die hard. This is the latest in the Die Hard franchise, <sighs> number five, if you're counting. Yes, yes. This time, um, John McClane goes over to Russia, Mother Russia, yes, in uh, hopes of helping his son, who's yes. been mixed up in a plot over there. Best synopsis I heard of this movie was Clerks plus Die Hard. Because he's not, not even, even supposed, supposed to be, to be there, there today. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if anything, it's kind of like his son is the lead and he's yeah. sort of tagging along, which yeah. is not really what I want from Die Hard. But yeah, I mean, if they were gonna do that, maybe they should have done that with the fourth Die Hard to start that trend, or at yeah. least brought his son into the fourth one as a yeah. more of a major character. So it's directed know. by John Moore, who did things like Max Payne, mm. The Omen remake, mm. Flight of the Phoenix, and mm. Behind Enemy Lines, okay. which we might get into a little okay. bit well, later this right. week. Just Everybody saying. can do one good movie, Spencer. <laughs> can they? I'm not so sure. <laughs> can. That doesn't mean it does. <laughs> I, I, I will say it has some interesting, you know, stuff going yeah. for it. I mean, it's got an audio commentary with the, the director, John Moore, and the first assistant director, Mark Cantone. Mm -hmm. um, there's a making of series of 15-part uh, making of documentary, Damn. which is about an hour in length. Probably mostly about being in Russia. Yeah. Bruce Willis is still old. Apparently they go so far as to interview like boom operators, hmm. catering people, and behind the scenes individuals. I so. bet they don't interview any editors because all they would say is how badly they edited that movie together. They might think they did well, I don't know. <laughs> and there's also another uh, featurette, a 26 minute featurette about uh, the opening car chase sequence, which is cool. You know, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. probably one of the better things about this movie. <laughs> Still not greatly it's, edited. It's not, it's not a good movie. And Cool News put a great article out about how horribly edited that I, some of the I don't even are. think the editing is as much as my problem as like it's so ridiculous by the end. I mean more no continuity sense. based yeah. editing, not like Michael Bay choppy editing, but like just, yeah. Like anyway. I think the story is so ridiculous. Yes. The editing yes. really is just a very minor yes. detail. But you know, it's got some other smaller featurettes but you know it's blu-ray dvd digital copy so it's got that going for it too i it's mean got something going for it if, if you like the movie it might be worthwhile but otherwise just avoid this film altogether it's yeah. not good or get you know really really drunk and watch it after renting it from scarecrow and just yeah. laugh at it do a mystery science theater 3000 your own send-up of it riff it that might not be bad. I still would probably just rent the fourth one because that's vastly superior and which underrated. Is a, which is a sad thing to say. Yeah, well, I because I still didn't like the fourth one. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe we'll talk about that someday. Maybe. In the more positive yes. column, though, we have Breaking Bad fifth season, or which 5. is five point one or five point oh, I guess. Because yes, exactly. Technically, right. fifth right. season split into two. Right. Yeah. Technically, yeah. which is, I mean, so, yeah. it's such a big amount of time I know, it's, so it's almost I know, it's, like it's like almost like back to Battlestar Galactica days where it's like 4.5 yeah, I, 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 I don't get into any of that stuff yeah. that does frustrate me but I will note that this either comes in Blu-ray plus Ultraviolet or okay. just DVD DVD does not have that Ultraviolet component so that's I unfortunate see. But looks like AMC's making the Blu-ray push maybe yeah seriously but you know they got a lot of good stuff on there they have a whole bunch of uh, audio commentaries uh all eight episodes have commentary tracks, including people like Vince Gilligan, mm -hmm. Brian Cranston, uh, Aaron Paul's on some of them. Awesome, all the majors. Anna Gunn, you know, so you're getting a lot of that. Bob Odenkirk, so Sweet. I'm pretty much on board with that. Directors, Ryan Johnson's on there. Very so, cool. Um, inside Breaking Bad, there's a supplement that accompanies every episode with two sections, uh, you know, named according to the episode, which feature cast and crew summarizing the plot and digging into the story and the themes Sweet. and characters. 
character development. So that's good. They have a, a scene by scene directors discuss Ooh. memorable moments featurette with directors such as Ryan Johnson, David Slade, etc. Discussing the episodes. Very nice. Favorite parts of the episodes they worked on. That's cool. Uh, writers room. That's something you don't get enough lapse. of. No. Uh, and one other thing that I really was particularly interested in was that they have uh, some footage from the Gallery 1988 art show, which, for those who aren't familiar with it, Gallery 1988 is sort of in the same vein as Mondo. Oh, okay. And they do a lot of sort of interesting original interesting. art shows. Like, they just did a Bad Robot one. Okay, yeah, I do know of, you're talking about that now. Of the uh, yeah. Star Trek opening, so. Neat. That's yeah, cool. So that's I mean, cool. you know, you don't usually get television shows with this much packed goodness. I mean, no. granted, it makes sense since Breaking Bad is so amazing and so critically loved, but still. And maybe they felt a little bit compelled to fill in because it's only the eight half episodes. Yeah. yeah. So that that might be a part of it. Vince but. Killian's pretty awesome guy. I can see him being like, come on, guys, we can't release a half season without. But giving mean, us as something. I said, we got him involved, Brian Cranston, mm -hmm. Aaron Paul. Like, so you, I mean, that's pretty awesome to yep. get those people involved because a lot of them don't. The big three, do, yeah. as it would be. Yeah. Moving back into the realm of not so hot, mm -hmm. we've got Identity Thief. This is a <sighs> Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, ultraviolet. Continuing so that's the good. unfortunate trend of Jason Bateman's most of his movies being horrible. Yeah. And yeah. Melissa McCarthy, too, unfortunately. Yeah. She's had some rough luck in that regard. I feel regard. like two of them are like, they're the type of people that get the one or two really good ones and then like five bad ones in response. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah. she's got like the heat coming out, which is... Fairly enjoyable. Looks, and, yeah, looks I entertaining. I can read my review on oh, online look already. at this guy. Yeah. seen it already. Yeah, I saw it months ago. I, I probably <laughs> have South one by Southwest? CinemaCon. Ah, Sorry, yeah. yes, that's um, right. You with your Vegas. <laughs> but it's uh, directed by Seth Gordon, okay. who did... Um, King of Kong. Okay, yes, yes, that's right. Yes. So he's, I mean, he's done some good stuff. He's very hit or miss. Like, he did hundred uh, Horrible Bosses. That's right, yes. So he's, he's been on and off. Sort of alternates good film, bad film. Yeah, so yeah. this is kind of he's, the lower He's the original spectrum. Star Trek movies of directors. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say it might not be the original one, but he's, he's definitely up there for sure. In terms of the, the release, it's, the, uh, it's got the theatrical and unrated cuts, which apparently is about nine minutes difference. I... Doubt it'll make a savior, savior yeah, of the film. I think it really would not make much of a no, difference. No. It's got a making of featurette where the cast and crew discuss, uh, you know, how it got made, essentially, which is apparently a very blah um, <laughs> How surprising, featurette. a yeah. blah movie having a blah featurette yeah. about there making a blah movie. <laughs> alternate takes, improv heaped on improv. So, mm -hmm. shocker, this has a lot of improv in it. Um Maybe should have been more scripted. Exactly. It's <laughs> a good call. And, you know, f a few other featurettes. But generally, a fairly bland release for a pretty bland movie. So that's yeah. unfortunate. Sadly. Um, yeah. So let's bring us to our final good yes. one of the week. Uh, a surprise yeah. hit from earlier this year. Mm -hmm. And that is Warm Bodies. Really liked this movie. Yeah. It was a very, very pleasant surprise. For those who don't know, it's a... Uh, Zombie rom-com. Yeah, zombie rom <laughs> zombie rom com. I think yes, we yes. might have said earlier. <laughs> yes. It's got uh, Nicholas Holt, mm -hmm. Teresa Palmer, directed by Jonathan Levine from Fifty Fifty. Yes. Uh, it comes out on either Blu-ray or DVD plus digital and ultraviolet in either of those formats. Oh, so okay. it's one or the other plus the two digital formats. Hmm. So that's that's something. This is one of those few movies that it was like a, a, a genre that seemed old and tired and, and you were like, oh god, another zombie movie? But, but it was actually really well how, done. Like it was like when I saw the concept, it's like how on earth are you gonna make a zombie rom -com? Exactly. Like it's like this is impossible. you're like you're like five minutes into this movie, I'm gonna hate it already. And it was, it was great. very, very it's well great. done. Rob Cordry and John Malkovich, great supporting oh, yes. roles in it as well. Uh, in terms of this film, they have an audio commentary with the director, Jonathan Levine, and actors Nicholas Holt and Teresa Palmer. So you get the big three there, which very is pretty cool. awesome. Supposedly like a very lively commentary, too, which is cool. Uh, you have Boy Meets Er Doesn't Eat Girl, which just gives <laughs> some background on how the film came to be, including featurettes or interviews with people like producer Bruna Papandrea. Ooh. Fun uh, twisters. Yes. Um, there's an extreme zombie makeover feature which profiles makeup artist Adrian Moreau. Very cool. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah, especially in a zombie movie. Yeah. Makeup artist. Probably don't don't get say. enough credit. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's such an important aspect of it, and they generally are forgotten. There's a uh, whimsical sweetness, Teresa Palmer's warm bodies, home movies. Hmm. So her sort of behind the scenes iPhone footage that she took for making the movie. Very nice. That's kind of nifty. And there's uh, zombie act acting tips with Rob Corddry. Uh. 
<laughs> That's probably That's pretty, be pretty awesome. funny. And he was great in the movie. Yeah. He, I love to see comedic actors go serious. And mm-hmm. he, I mean, he's funny, but he's very yes. got a nice sort of serious. Yeah, he's maybe like the straight man of the movie, closer totally. closer than anybody else. Totally. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So he's very pleasantly surprising. Mm-hmm. So um, definitely recommend that one. Very good film and a very solid release yes, there. So definitely. That brings us to the end of our DVD rundown. Join us in our next episode as we talk Owen Wilson for the internship. Yep. And as always, you can find us on MacGuffin. That's MacGuff.in. Ooh. We're on Twitter. Fancy. Do- yeah. <laughs> Ooh, my. Uh, we're on Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, mm-hmm. Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast. Phone number, 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes. We're on Miro. We're on Roku. We're on blip.tv mm-hmm. you can check in and get glue and get some badges get some stickers to cover your wall or whatever people do with stickers anymore and yeah give some stars on itunes and thumbs on the youtube leave us some comments there too mm-hmm. we'll hit you back and mm-hmm. uh, see you next time Stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's tight. Don't even try to buy the sound style. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The